algae are incredibly important. They are the basis of many food chains, both the unicellular algae and the multicellular algae. They provide oxygen for aquatic life and provide much of the oxygen which terrestrial life uses as well. The term algae, however, describes a collection of organisms, many of which are not related at all, other than being eukaryotes, and which share very little in common. There are three groups of algae which include multicellular members, the green algae, which is technically two separate groups, the brown algae, and the red algae. But these multicellular algae differ in most of their significant features. Green, brown, and red algae differ in habitat, with the green algae being the most common in freshwater and red algae being the most common in deeper water. Brown algae are marine and are especially successful in colder water. They differ in the roles which would they play in ecosystems, and the green and red algae include some which can be symbionts and even parasites, depending on heterotrophy rather than photosynthesis for energy. They differ in the pigments they use to capture light, and the pigments of red algae allow them to capture the wavelengths of light which are more common at greater depths. They differ in the carbohydrates that they use for storage. They differ in the molecules that they incorporate into their cell walls. They differ in whether they can be unicellular or multicellular, with the brown algae known as kelps being able to reach lengths of over 50 meters and including a number of very specialized tissues uh, which the other groups lack. The red algae are very complex in their reproductive cycles. And so these three algae differ in significant ways.